Hello, my name is Melissa Keister. I live in North Louisiana and I'm 28 years old. I've been sick for a while now, but very sick for the last year. I would say prior to last May, I would have been a skeptic of natural and alternative medicine. But after going from one medical doctor to another and finding they could not help me, I warmed up to it. I had to accept it scientifically because I have a scientific mind. And what I was able to understand is that while Western medicine is a science of chemistry, where they use drugs to alter the chemistry in your body, natural medicine is a science of physics, where they use energy to help the body heal itself. Um, spiritually, I also had to accept it because I'm a Christian. And I was able to do that because the Lord led me to the truth that I am fearfully and wonderfully made and we've only begun to tap into what, what the body is capable of as far as healing. Um, this video is mainly about the science of kinesiology which is human kinetics or movement. It has a long history. Modern day examples include sports medicine, physical therapy and the like. But this application is for muscle testing for allergies and sensitivities. Now there are three different ways to do this. And I'm going to start with my least favorite way, which is the arm test. May I please have my assistant? For the arm test, you have to create a baseline of strength first. So your partner just presses down a little bit on the arm to get a baseline of strength. And then you take a questionable food in hand and try again. Now, they're not trying to overpower you, just offering a little bit of pressure. And since I was able to keep my arm pretty straight, it's a tolerable food for me. I'll try the same test with an apple. All right, that was really easy for him to push down my arm. I'm allergic to the apple, don't need to eat it. My second favorite way to um, test is the finger test. You also need to create a baseline of strength for this test. What you do is you take your thumb and third finger, press it together, and the other person tries to pull the fingers apart. And then you take the questionable food again. I've tested strong, and so we'll trust another thing. Twist the apple and he was able to pull my fingers apart that time, so I'm allergic. My personal favorite way of testing is a solo test. And it's a little odd, and, um, and it might make some people feel uncomfortable, but I really love it because it's so specific, and you can ask really specific questions, and that is very helpful. Um, so I'm gonna take an organic pastured egg to ask my first question. All you do is you take the food, put it to your chest, and I like to ask, is this safe, effective, and tolerable for my body? It was the suggestion of my local naturopath, and that seems to be very helpful. So I ask, is this safe, effective, and tolerable for my body? Leaning forward is a yes. So this egg is safe and probably very healthy for me. I'll take the apple again. Is this apple safe, effective, and tolerable for my body? And the energy pulls me back. And that means no. Now there are some foods that I have tried where I don't move forward or back. That's a neutral answer. And that just simply means that it's not necessarily bad and it's not necessarily good for your body. Now what's super helpful about that test is I can be really specific in my questions. This is vitamin D3. Is this safe, effective, and tolerable for my body? All right, now this is where it really gets helpful. Should I take one capsule every day? It's neutral. I'm not going backwards or forward. Should I take two capsules every day? Once again, neutral, not going backwards or forward. Should I take three capsules every day? And that would be a yes. 
So according to that test, I know that I need 15,000 I use of vitamin D3 daily. It's very helpful. Another thing that can be tested is bodily fluids, such as saliva, blood, urine. You can also use mucus and stool. I like to use saliva because it's just very helpful. But whenever you're testing a bodily fluid, it's very helpful to have a partner with you because as you'll see in my next video, there is a way to help your body heal um, that sensitivity. So just take a swab of your saliva, stick it in a baggie. All right, assuming you've already created a baseline for strength, you get your partner to test while you're holding the sample. And of course, my fingers come apart, meaning that I'm sensitive to my saliva. Stay tuned for my next video, and I will show you how to make that right.